the class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, 7th chapter, text number 3, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March 11th, 1975, in London, England. Out of many thousands among men, one may endeavor for perfection, and of those who have achieved perfection, hardly one knows me as you. Manushana Sahasrishu Kasti Jatati Siddhai Jatatam Fisidhyanam Kasti Mang Bhitti Tata So Manusha means human being. So Human being is the life where one can understand what is God. It is not stated here, jivana, the living entity. There are, we have several times explained, many types of living entities. Jalajana, Lakhani, Savara, Lakhavin, Sophi. The aquatics, they are also living entities. There are nine hundred thousand forms of body within the water. They are also living entities. And Jalajana, uh, Lakhani, Savara, Lakhavin, Sophi. Savara means living entity who cannot move trees, plants, herbs, grass. They cannot move. <coughs> so they are two millions. So in this way, you come to the human being. They are also living entities. There are four hundred thousand different forms. We can see here we are being human being, but we have got different uh, forms, different color. So this is a variety of creation. So out of all these living entity, the human form of living entity is very important. So that is the life wherein we can uh, understand what is God. Therefore in the human society there is some process of understanding God which is called religion. Religion means a process by which we can understand what is God, what is our relationship with Him, and what is our duty towards Him. So, therefore it is said, these uh, human beings were actually trying to fulfill the mission of human life. The fulfill, to fulfill the mission of human life means that we living beings spirit soul, we are now entangled within this material body. This is our problem. Really, the, uh, to understand the position of the living being is the beginning of Bhagavad-gītā. Uh, Bhagavad-gītā does not begin uh, with some utopian ideas of humanitarian war. No. Sri Krishna wanted Arjuna to understand in the beginning that first of all you understand your constitutional position, what you are. <coughs> to know ourselves, what we are, that is Siddhi. Not to be busy with the bodily comforts of life, 
which are being executed by the cats and dogs and hogs. The hog is whole time engaged. How to maintain his body, how to have nice sexual intercourse, and how to eat anything uh, he likes, you find the hog life practically. Uh, in our country, in India, in the villages, the village hogs, the lighter, whole day and night, where is tool, where is tool. So, if human life is meant for that purpose, from early in the morning till one goes to sleep, simply find out where is money, where is money, where is money, where is money. Then what is the difference between this pig life and the human life? Well, if human life is meant for that purpose, where is money, where is money? Of course, to the human being the money is very sweet. Similarly, to the hog the stool is very sweet. See, it is a question of sweetness, not the uh, matter, taste. So he finds good taste in stool, and we find good taste in money. So money also is sweet. Why we want money? Vivacharte Hayarajan Kutumma Bharane Nava Nidra Hyate Naptam Bhavayana Chavabhaya The materialistic person are engaged whole day and night. The business is what is that business? That at night to have very sound sleep. Very, uh, last night I had very sound sleep. That is enjoyment. If I can sleep up to ten o'clock, twelve o'clock, oh, I have enjoyed this. The sleeping. That night the enjoyment is sleeping and sex. Babayana. Babayana means sex. In this way, night we are wasting. And daytime, viva cha, uh, arthe ya. Where is money? Where is money? Where is money? And then as soon as you get money, then how to spend it? For sense gratification, for kutumba bharana, for family maintenance, for purchasing, for shopping. Uh, they, they, in this way, we are very busy. Uh, we do not know that there is another business beyond this. This is, especially at the present moment, this is human civilization. They are always busy in sense gratification and getting money for that purpose. That's all. So that is not Siddhi. Therefore, Krishna says that mostly, 99.9%, they are busy in these things. How to get money for sense gratification, and when you get money, then spend it for sense gratification. Viva Chatya. That is not Siddhi. That thing is going on amongst the hogs. Hogs are also busy in that way. Then what is the difference between human life and hog life? That was Shastra says, Nāyāma deha deha bhājāṅga nilopē kastāna kāmāna arahati vīr bhujāṅga jī. This was the instruction given by King Rishabdev, whose son's name was Maharaj Bharat, under whose name this land, this planet is called Bharat Varsha. This planet's original name is Bharat Varsha. Now it has come to India. Uh, <coughs> gradually, cut down, cut down. So he instructed his sons, my dear sons, don't spoil your life simply working hard for sense gratification like the hogs. Because 
The hog is also working day and night, but what is the aim? The aim is self gratification. At night, sleep or have sex life, and at daytime, collect money and spend it for family maintenance or some sense that we use. This is not meant for human life. Uh, now, this morning, uh, one gentleman was asking us that we are not working. We are not working. They think, he is a lawyer, he thinks that unless one works very hard, for sense gratification, he is not human being, or he is not doing his duty perfect. That is his idea. Uh, but actual life is uh, to become perfect. From the platform of animal life, come to the perfection of life. Uh, therefore Krishna says, Manushtanam Sahasesu, everyone is thinking that work very hard like the hogs and dogs and find out your means of sense enjoyment and then enjoy it. This is called Kormi life. They have no other idea. You will find everyone is working hard from morning at six o'clock till ten o'clock at night. They are working hard. What is the purpose? To get some money and utilize it for sense gratification. This is animal life. This is not human life. But they are thinking that one who does not work so hard, they are nine, for sense gratification, he is not doing, he is escaping. This is the reason. But actually they do not see that these devotees are engaged in working twenty-four hours but not for sense gratification like the hogs, but for satisfaction of Krishna. That is the difference between Krishna consciousness, man, and ordinary man, Kurmi man. Therefore uh, Krishna says that all these men, uh, they are engaged. Uh, and the Shastra says, no, no, you live with the minimum necessities. Uh, don't increase your necessities, unnecessary. This is very serious. And the modern civilization is even increase your necessities a machine for saving your chip. You see? Another machine, another uh, attention, diversion. More machine means more diversion of attention. I have to take care, more technician, more technologies. Uh, simply, if one razor can save, can make my cheek very clean, uh, what is the necessity? Uh, formerly, at least in India, no, that go to a blacksmith and he prepares a razor, very nice razor, you pay him four hundred. And it will last for your life uh, and save your uh, cheek very nicely daily or uh, occasionally. But uh, the modern civilization means that in everything there must be machine. That is advancement of material. Uh, but the Shastra says, uh, what is the use of taking so much labor? Kastan uh, kama. Kastan means with so much labor. Uh, if you create some convenience by the so-called machine use, you create so many other inconveniences. Uh, it's like we have got now motor cars. Of course it is convenient, but there are many inconveniences. Uh, formerly people used to find everyone within the village. Now because we have got big, big motor cars, we have to go uh, thirty miles to find out a doctor. Uh, so the other incon inconveniences are also increased. Now we have to find out petrol and flat air, the Arabian, give me petrol. Uh, in this way, and if I stop manufacturing, then there is unemployment. In this way, we are becoming implicated by the so-called advancement of civilization, 
we are becoming implicated to these material activities and we are forgetting our real business, self-realization. What I am? Athāta Brahma Jīgyāsā. The real business is to inquire about Brahma, about Atma, Paramātmā. But we are forgetting that. We are simply busy for the temporary life, say for fifty years or hundred years at most. But we do not know the life is continuous and as the life is continued, we have got experience from babyhood to childhood, childhood to boyhood, boyhood to youthhood, then an old body, then what is next? Uh, you ask anybody who has become an uh, old man, ask him, Sir, you have come to this stage, your body is now old, you have to die. Now, from childhood they came to uh, boyhood, boyhood, youthhood, then middle age, and now you have come to... Now what is next? Do you know? Oh, they are silent. Nobody knows. Now what is my next life? A child can say, my next life is boy, I shall become a boy. And then boy can say, yes, I will like a very nice young man. And the young man can say, that I shall become a middle-aged man, father of many children. And the middle-aged man can say, yes, I will become old man. And ask the old man what he will become, he cannot answer. Can anyone say? But there is. Next life. This body is now old enough. It will be finished, everyone knows. As sure as death. And after finishing the body, what will be your next body? Who will answer this? Where is the scientist? Where is the philosopher? Where is the learned man? Nobody knows. Huh? Nobody knows. Therefore, uh, he is blind. He does not know what is his future. But there is future. You cannot say no. The example is here. And besides that, Krishna says, tatha deham prati Krishna, the most superior authority, he says, and it is accepted by all the acharyas and all persons who have attained perfection. So, we should learn it. What is my next life? And if I prepare for the next life, that is called siddhi. That is called siddhi. If you don't prepare for the next life, if we remain like, like cats and dogs, the cats and dogs, they do not know what is next life, because they are animals. And if I do not know what is next life, then what is the difference between the cats and dogs? What is the difference between? Saiva Gokhara, Shastra says, one who does not know what is the next life, he is no better than Gokhara. Go means cows. And khara means ass. Jashatma buddhi kuna peti dhatuke sadhik palatra desu bhavu majjati. Saiva gokhara. These men are no better than these cats and dogs and animals. Uh, so practically you ask so many big, big men. Uh, last time when I was here, uh, Lord Fenner Brahpa came here to see me. I asked him this question, that what is your next life? He is also an old man, eighty-four years. He says, Samiji, if I die peacefully, that's all. Uh, peacefully you may die, but you have to accept the next body, whether that will be peaceful or not. That they do not know. Uh, Similarly, I spoke with Professor Kotovsky in Moscow. He also said that, Samiji, after finishing this body, Everything is finished. Uh, this is the position of human society at the present moment, that they do not know how to make uh, life perfect. To make life perfect means uh, how to make my next life uh, very uh, perfect or happy or better life. Uh, 
otherwise if i remain in darkness krishna says tasade hantara prapti then i shall may i i may become uh, any of the so many types of body uh, i may become a tree i may become a dog i may become a cat or maybe a demigod there are so many different but i must be sure what kind of life i must have uh, that is stated in the bhagavad gita we are not imagining we are our movement is krishna consciousness movement based on bhagavad gita so krishna says that as he says there is next life that is fact now how we can prepare for the next life that is also said in the bhagavad gita how जानति देव व्रता देवान पितरी ज्ञानति पिछली व्रता भूतानी जानति भूते जा मत जा जिनो की जानति मत इफ यू वांट टू गो टू द हार्ट प्लैनेटरी सिस्टम वेयर द मैटेरियल हैप्पीनेस इज थाउजेंड्स एंड थाउजेंड टाइम्स मोर कंफर्टेबल देन ऑन दिस प्लैनेट दैट्स वाई सरलोक सर्गलोक सरलोक mahalok janalok tamalok there are many different planetary system up and down also so if you want to go to that urdhanga chanti satta swa if you prepare yourself contacting the modes of goodness then you are promoted to have planetary system janati deva prata devan pithri janati pithri prata you can go to the pithri lokas or you can remain uh, within this planet planetary system and if you like you can go come to me also uh, as you can go to the higher planetary system or remain here that is all preparation bhute ja janti divan devo jagina similarly if you madhyajana uh, if you become uh, my worshiper then you come to me krishna say uh, so what is the difference between going to the heart planetary system and what is the, the difference going to back to home back to the everything is explained there uh, if you go to the heart planetary system suppose to the planets of the demi god Krishna says, then you will have to again come back. Abrama bhuvana lokan punara avasti na jura. Even if you go to the topmost planet, then from there also, after chine punne puno matlu kangam bishanti. After your result and action of past activity is finished, then you have to come back again here. Jad gatyana nivartan te tad dhamam paramam. But there is another planet which is called Golok Vrindavan. If you go there, then you will have to come back again in this material world, which is described by Krishna Himself. Dukhalam asa satam maam upeeta kontiya. Dukhalam asa satam nāpnupanti mahatmana. They only not ordinary person. Can go to Krishna's loka back home. Who can go? Mahatma. Those who are great souls and who are gross souls, they are called Mahatmas. Uh, who are Mahatmas? Mahatma nusmang prata devi prakriti maasita bhajanti ananna manusu. This is Mahatma. Those who are fully engaged in Krishna consciousness. Absorbed in the service of Krishna, they are called Mahatma. So Mahatma is the real love. That kind of Mahatma, the so-called Mahatma, having a uh, orange dress and talking that he is God, incarnation of God, and he can give you perfection within six months, giving thirty-five dollars. Not like that. Uh, the Mahatma means. महात्मानुस्त मांग प्राप्त हो, देवी प्रकृति मांसिक हो, दे आर अंडर दी स्पिरिचुअल एनर्जी, एंड इफ वन इन्क्वायर्स व्हाट इज़ द स्पिरिचुअल एनर्जी, 
spiritual energy means to be engaged in devotional service. Mahatman Ustup Mahat Prasa, Doibi Prakriti Mahas, Bhajanti Ananda Mansa. They have no other business than to work for Krishna, serve Krishna. They are Mahatma. So our Krishna consciousness movement is teaching people that you have no other business than to work for Krishna. That's all. This is Krishna business. This is called Krishna consciousness vision. That is called the highest part. Some say Dhim, Paramahangata. Siddhi, here it is. Siddhi. Manu sanam sahasya sukhasya jatati siddha. Siddha means to understand what is my position. Why I am working so hard day and night for simply for sense gratification, for satisfying the tongue to fulfill the belly and satisfy the genita. This is my business. Uh, that is being done by the dogs and hogs. When one comes to this sand, they shall I work like the cats, dogs and hogs, or I have got any other business. That is human life. Oh, that's what Krishna says. Manushanam says. All of them working like hogs and dogs. They, they do not know there is something other. Uh, this is the position. Uh, the modern civilization means to keep him in the darkness. Then let him work hard like hogs and dogs, and don't give him any knowledge. Neither they know, the so-called leaders, what is the perfect life. They think this is life. Uh, work like hog and dog, and then die like hog and dog, finish solving this. This is not human life. Therefore Krishna says, Manasanam Sahasesu. They do not know what is perfection of life. Uh, therefore, we sometimes, we, don't, we do not say, Krishna says, and if we repeat Krishna's words, the rascals, they become angry. Uh, they become, actually, they are rascals. We plainly say, uh, because he does not know. If I ask him, what is your next life? He cannot answer. Then what is the difference? If I ask the dog that what is your next life, he cannot say, go, go, that's all. Then if I ask any human being, that what is your next life, I don't bother about that. <laughs> the same answer, go, go, that's all. So this is the position, uh, that we do not know what is the perfection of life. Uh, Krishna says that we begin real knowledge. Uh, the chapter is knowledge of the absolute. Uh, so everyone, you ask any MA PhD, uh, then what is your next life, sir? Hmm? Go, go. <laughs> That's what. Go, go means why you are bothering about this. That's it. So this is the position. Uh, and we are. Uh, um, getting very hard job to convince these people about Krishna consciousness. They will not accept it. They will de- deny Im- immediately. They will say, why do you bother us? You do your own business, let us do our own business. But why we are bothering? Because we are servant of Krishna. Krishna wants that these rascals should be informed. These rascals should be raised from this status of ignorance. So that is our mission. Therefore, we are going and pleading, Sir, I am a brother, I have come to beg from you that you kindly purchase one book and read it. Dante Nidharati Nakam Padaru Nipatya Kākuṣatam kṛtyāca ahaṁ brabhīmi he sādhava sakalam eva vyāyo se dure caitanna channa charane kṛtānurāva This is our preaching process that flattering you hundred times, falling down on your feet and speaking one thing, please hear. What is that? Whatever nonsense you have learned, forget. This is our only solicitation. That you have learned all nonsense. Please forget. 
Try to hear Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and be perfect. Thank you very much.